thought the safety could go wrong and therefore believed that he was just as well off attempting the pot. Sean Murphy's last tournament title was the, the Bulgarian Open in Sofia. Eastern Europe, one of the great growth areas for the game Six. these days. We've had a professional tournament in Latvia this season, another in Bulgaria. Tour is going to Lisbon a little later on. So, wanted to come past that. Yeah, it may have looked a poor shot, but and really it was the blue beforehand that was the, the bad shot. Just didn't get the white low enough now. These are tricky, especially awkward bridging. Oh, super shot. Forty. Now, he'd like to take the straight red to the corner here. It's missable, mind you, but if he knocked it in, you'd fancy him winning the frame. May decide on playing this one to left middle. A little bit safer shot. Fifteen. Bramble. Just could have done with Nine. another four or five inches of pace in the cue ball. He's going to have to go back up for blue here. Don't think he can play for black. Twenty. Would have preferred to have left himself 25. straight on the red, which is three up. But as it happens, he was able to play the cannon to retain black ball position. At the expense of cannoning the ready had to cannon to a slightly less advantageous position. 34. 41. Forty-two. He may have missed a the trick there, Sean. I would have expected him to go back for blue or green off that last red. Obviously, the two reds down this end of the table are difficult to get in behind. Forty-nine. He's going to rely on a long straight pot. Forty-eight. 
50. Mm, yeah, good pot, but wrong angle in the yellow. I don't think even Sean Murphy can play a deep screw off this and get back in behind any of the reds, so... Looks like this contribution is going to come to an end. Rainbow. The lead as we see, 35. Just maybe trying to put the green safe. Not a bad option. Sean Murphy, 50. Just going to have to rely on luck here, Marco. It's important he hits the red because it will go back if he doesn't make contact. Oh, he'll take this. Oh, <laughs> glancing his game. <laughs> Would probably have been a different story if he caught it full at that speed. Quite sure whether he can hit this red off one of the one side cushion. Middle pockets in the way somewhat. Foul. Well, <laughs> that was unfortunate, and it's also unfortunate that he's left a, a red to the bore pocket, which is a possibility. Prior to that shot, Murphy needed only one more pot to secure the frame. Foul. <coughs> Sean Murphy, four. Serious enough from Foo's point of view because uh, it leaves Murphy a free Table. ball. The free ball is awarded because Murphy can't hit Bramble. both edges of the ball on. He therefore nominates Brown as his extra red. One. And that blue, in addition, secures the frame, barring a snooker. Six. Yeah, he just, he's not going to be playing this with pace, so he wants to make sure he pots this. Yeah, well done. If he hadn't, Seven. obviously with the left Marco, an easy red black, and then up behind the yellow, and a decent chance of getting a snooker, but that's gone now. Sean Murphy, seventh, and the frame. So, largely through a break of 50, Sean Murphy takes a 1-0 lead. Welcome back, Sean Murphy took the opening frame of this Group 1 match with Marco Fu. In a very tense, scrappy frame, Marco Fu levelled the score at one frame all. We're going to rejoin the action at the start of the third. Sean Murphy to break. Murphy brings the end red down from his break-off shot. It's a strange thing, that, Clive. It's been a feature of a lot of the matches this week, hasn't it? That, that reds seem to come up top side of the blue spot and left a few chances. 
It's something for the players to keep an eye on, for me. Good shot. <laughs> Difficult cue underneath the ball One. cushion. No spot available for the pink, so it goes as near as possible to its own spot in Set. a direct line with the black spot. Eight. As near as possible, that is, without touching another ball. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Now, does he have enough angle here just to force this cue ball up? He wants to be low in the red at the back of the cluster here. Bring other reds into play. That's not bad. Be springing the 31. pink open as well. I imagine the cue ball will probably be going back up for blue or bulk colour. Thirty-two. That didn't manage to move the pink at all, and didn't really get any action on the white. So it's either a long blue or green to keep the break going. A little test of this. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. A little too high for the blue, but no problem. Simple enough yellow, playing for a choice of three reds. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. All these from Murphy's poor break-off shot, which left a red to middle. Played. Both reds around the pink spot area would go to right middle, so a little bit of leeway in playing that. Done well to get the cue ball as close to them as he has done. Not sure if he can play for black off this one. May go back up for blue. Now staying for the black. Marco for 46. Didn't expect him to miss that. Twice he's missed a sitter. Similar kind of shot, wasn't it, to earlier on? He missed one into the other middle pocket. A little concern there for Marco. He was in a frame-winning position, wasn't he? Thirty-seven. 
should have made the better fist of that opportunity. One. That'll make Sean feel better. That was struck beautifully, wasn't it? It was. And while we've been discussing Foo's cue action and the changes that he's made, we should acknowledge Murphy's million dollar cue action, which he appears to have been born with. Eight. Yeah, couldn't agree more. He never seems to change his action, Sean Murphy. That's one thing about him. And he backs it to pot most things. No, oh, doesn't like that. Not sure if he got a bad contact, but. Sean sure, Murphy, eight. Missed a the trick there, Sean. Wasn't a great shot in the black, in all honesty, going into them. Could have expected maybe something easier, but just let Marco off the hook again. One. On what we've seen so far, whoever wins this match has got to step up a gear to have much of a chance against Ronnie O'Sullivan in this evening's group final. Oh, that's clever. Played for a choice of two or three reds. Four. Would like to play the one just by the pink, I think, here. It's just awkward bridging over it, so... It just depends how comfortable he feels on it. Five. Shouldn't have any problems from here, wrapping up the frame. Maybe simple red to right middle, obviously. And then the red in the bulk area would be enough. 11. Sixteen. Seventeen. And these best of seven matches, the chance that Sean had there, you have to take those, don't you, Clive? Well, you certainly do. 22. The shorter the match, the finish, the finish is in sight almost from the start. 23. 30. Thirty-one. Marco Fu, thirty-one in the frame. Fu made breaks of forty-six and thirty-one in that frame, and uh, he leads by two frames to one.
Welcome back. Two frames in a row for Marco Fu sees him lead Sean Murphy 2-1 in this best of seven encounter. Let's get back to the action in frame four. Fu at the table, leading by four points. Well, at least there's no stalemate. Murphy is certainly lacking inspiration today, but when that happens, somehow or other, you've just got to grind it out. One. Decent red from Fu. Followed by a failure at the black. black. Yeah, just symptomatic of the first three frames, isn't it, Clive? Good red, but that was really nowhere near, was it, the black? Right, let's see if Sean can get something going. Is he going to take the risk here of playing lots of pace into the pack? I think he's right in the mid for... I don't think he wants to mess around here. How's his luck? Eight. Well, not the very best. Possibility to right middle, albeit bridging over a ball. And maybe to left middle also. Yeah, I think in the Moody's end he'll definitely be taking something on. There's a bit of risk attached to this depending on the pace he plays it. If he plays it plays it dead weight trying to hold for brown or blue and he could stick it up so a big shot this there you go Sean Murphy, 8 can't get going it's just so difficult isn't it to turn that kind of shot down isn't it when you're aggressive, an aggressive player like Sean is you you know, there'll be a certain amount of frustration inside them right now. Well, there are certain shots well, that you can't turn down, however badly you're playing. Even though you might not like the look of them. Eight. But Fu should like the look of this. Nine. Great chance to go 3 1 up. Yeah, these reds sitting like the proverbial cherry tree, aren't they? Great chance to Six. go 3 1 up. 17 24 25 I'm just thinking it's great to play to your best standard, but the most important standard, very often, is the standard you never fall below. And I think uh, that's why Fu 
has had the better of this match so far. Thirty-two. Yes, good shout, Clive. Because, as mentioned before, if it goes scrappy, you'd favour Marco to come out on top in this match. Thirty-three. You'd just like to win this frame at this visit, obviously, just to restore a little bit of confidence. He's just not hitting the ball as cleanly as he would like just at present. When you talk about players, Clive, who never dip below a certain standard, I think a player that uh, is typical of that, or certainly in, in, in his prime, was Mark Williams, wasn't it? No matter how bad he appeared to be playing, he just had that winning habit. A great winner of scrappy frames. Of course, he could make 48. his centuries. Same as all the other top players, but there have been times where he's won 5-2, top break 36 49. or 41, something like that. Yeah, he's a fabulous player. It was nice to see him play well as last week in Chengdu as well. Shame that uh, Mark's not here this week, but maybe further down the line he will be. Wouldn't put it past him. Fantastic 56. player he is. Lost 9-8 to Mark Allen in the semi-finals last week. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Marco Fu, 56. Well, you've, if you did a, a, a compilation of the easy balls that have missed, that have been missed, it, it would look dreadful. I just can't believe he's missed that. The blue earlier on to right middle was a horror show. That was even worse. Oh dear. <laughs> well, Fu has frame ball again, and again it's a simple one. I'm sure Murphy can't understand why he's playing like this. One. The applause recognises not the difficulty of the shot, but its significance. Frame ball. Yeah, these top players, and of course, Sean Murphy's one of them, they, they right. don't mind losing if you. Do yourself justice. If, if someone outplays you, you think, well, OK, hold your hands up and you move on to the the next event. It's when you put in the work, which Sean usually does, and you don't turn up mentally. Marco Fu. That's what disappoints Great. you. Well, still a vestige of hope for Murphy in this frame. He came to the table 56 behind, with 51 still left. So although he needs two four-point snookers to win, it's not completely beyond rescue. Eight. Nine. And also, if he gives himself a bit of table time, then uh, it could help play him in because uh, since his 50 break in the opening frame he's not done anything <laughs> 6 
16. Yeah, I think it'd be better here, just pushing the red into the middle of the table and somewhere up behind blue and yellow as he's looking. At least he's got two colours up there to hide in behind. And if he puts the red somewhere in the middle of the table, it won't be a cinch to hit it. Sean Murphy, 16. That's what he tried, but well, if Marco can't see it direct, it's a pretty pretty easy swerve, I would suggest. Yeah, he can get through to it. Not a difficult hit though, off two cushions. Yeah, you'd fancy him to hit it. Won't be doing anything silly with a cue ball either. No chance of a free ball. Managed to achieve a snooker in return. End of frame, surely, coming up. Yeah, just a bit bemused right now. Sean Murphy sitting in his chair there, just looking over. One. There you see him. Just not turned up yet, has he, Clive? No, I'm just thinking that maybe 3-1 down, his best policy Five. might simply be at the start of the next frame to go for anything that's at all reasonable. Seven. Ten. Fourteen. Nineteen. Twenty-five. Amidst the errors on both sides, Fu made a break of 56 in this frame. And has won it two in the frame. to lead by three frames to one. Two up with three to play. Can Sean Murphy do something to turn this match around? Every match can't be a classic, but it's been a long time since I've seen two top players miss so many easy shots as have been missed in this contest.
Now, long straight red. We know he won't be turning this down. I think he's going to employ your strategy, Clive, and just go for anything that's reasonable. Normally, this is well within his range. Better. Six. Seven. And I would suggest he'll be playing a deep screw off the pack here. Fourteen. Trying to bring a few more reds into play. There you see it, bottom of the cue ball, deep screw. Fifty. Now he does the pink pass. He certainly wouldn't want to be playing the blue because it's awkward bridging. Yeah, the pink obviously won't go. So as I say, this blue, extremely Little tricky. Ball. Bridging over the top of the red. Nope. Show me 50. Murphy's confidence must have been affected by some of the balls he's missed this afternoon. One. What a poor shot that was. Oh, he's fortunate. I think he can get through the gap. Or can he? He's having a good hard look at it. The red just, yeah. Can he just a little bit of right hand side, maybe just to bend it? Seven. After overrunning his position for his intended red by some distance. Yeah, he held up his hand in apology, actually, after he potted the red. Apart from a 50 break in the opening frame, Sean Murphy just hasn't been able to do it today. Let's just see how he cues this one, Marco Foot. We know he's not cueing at his best, and the, when you're not playing well, these can be tricky. Under normal circumstances, not a problem. Played it well, though. 21. Didn't intend to leave the cue ball there, 
bridging over a red to take one to left middle. Yeah, that was lax, wasn't it? Yeah. The bad news, of course, is he's bridging. The good news is he can avoid a cannon on the reds and the pink there and playing for the black, but he's going to have to play it with pace on and off the cushion. That's excellent. Good recovery. 29. Thirty seven. Yeah, it's not been vintage, Marco Fu, has it? But 42. at least as it looks, he goes on and wins this match. At least he'll get a chance to Rectify that this evening against Ronnie O'Sullivan in the group final. And although Fu has missed a lot of easy balls, he has 50. exploited Murphy's mistakes better than Murphy has exploited his mistakes. 51. A rueful, disappointed look, that. It's not so much losing, it's not doing yourself justice, which is the big disappointment. Yeah, he'll be bitterly disappointed, Sean Murphy. 58. He looks about fed up there, quite honestly, and who can blame him? It's probably been by quite some distance his worst performance all season. Meanwhile, Marco with a 43-point lead does need still two more reds. See, 51 ahead, 66. 51 remaining, so match ball coming up. Murphy knows he's lost. Who can now pursue a century? Seventy four. Yeah, it'd be nice to see him go on and complete a century. At least it would give him semblance of confidence going in this evening and a few hours' time against Ronnie O'Sullivan. It's a bit like a golfer when they birdie the last hole, isn't it? At least it, you know, dinner tea tea will taste a little bit better for Marco Foot. Marco Foot, eighty. So Marco Foot finishes off with a break of eighty. A disappointing match on the whole, with a lot of errors on both sides, but. Fu still managed to score more heavily and Fu wins by four frames to one.